nice heavy duty. This is it. And the Elgin in the back. So I got my angle grinder. See the leg is part of this trim. So I'm taking this off to bring it in six inches and down. We're gonna probably lose these corners. They're busted on one side anyway, right there. We'll see, I might put them back on. Yeah, I might still put them back on. This is perfect though. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. Cause there is a half inch gap and instead of trying to reposition the whole board onto this frame, which would be difficult. I got just an idea. This is nice. Six inches, so the white lines are gonna go away on the outside and on this side. But I'm probably gonna put, literally cut this white stripe off and make it a, and attach it to another piece so that it fills in that, so it'll be a white line gap, gap filler with that. That's my idea. I already got half of it apart over here. I just wanted to see if I needed to plan ahead. So the first piece has been cut down. I get to put the hardware back on and cut it down to size. See, that's kind of my idea. Connect, screw those together. And then once it's a flat, you can squeeze it up from the bottom and fill the gap, I'm thinking, we'll see. Hopefully. Big and little. Half done. Hardware's back on it just to cut the extension pieces off down there. But other than that, it matches this big side. So we'll see. So I think we did good. I think we did good enough at least. Um, I'm, I'm a half inch off on one side. It's not really square. It's like, it's off an inch or so. So don't worry about it. <laughs> don't ask questions. But look at that. That's pretty.